Hi, my name is Maddie and I'm a mathematician at Brown University. Usually on this channel, I talk about math related to my research. But today, I'm going to talk about a surprising calculation related to COVID-19. I'm going to show you how to answer the following question. At a gathering, how likely is it that someone present has COVID-19? First, I want to make a disclaimer. The numbers in this video are not based on any actual data. However, they are intended to be realistic. All right, so let's get into it. So the question we want to answer is, at a gathering, how likely is it that someone there has coronavirus? To answer this, we're going to need two numbers. N is going to stand for the number of people at the gathering. P is the probability that a randomly selected person in your community has coronavirus. For this video, we're going to take P equal to 1 out of 100. So that means that one out of every 100 people has coronavirus. In reality, this number depends on a lot of factors, such as where you're living and whether or not the people in your community are social distancing. Let's start with n equals one. So it's just you and you alone at home. Then there is a one out of 100 chance that you have COVID-19. On the flip side, there's a 99 out of 100 chance that you don't have coronavirus. For n equals two, let's say you and your best friend decide to get together. Now, there are more possibilities. Either neither of you has coronavirus, exactly one of you has coronavirus, or both of you have coronavirus. For the sake of these calculations, we're going to assume that the probability that either of you has coronavirus is independent. In reality, the probability that you have COVID and the probability that someone you know has COVID are linked. First, let's find the probability that neither of you has coronavirus. This is going to be the probability that you don't have coronavirus times the probability that your friend does not have coronavirus, which is approximately 98 out of 100. The likelihood that at least one of you has coronavirus is the opposite of this. So that's going to be one minus 98 out of 100, which is approximately two out of 100. So that's our final answer when n equals two. Let's scale this up. Suppose you go to a party with 20 people at it. Now, the chances that no one there has coronavirus is 98 out of 100 raised to the 20th power. This is about 82%. So the chances that someone there has COVID is about 18%. This means that approximately one out of every five parties will have a COVID-19 positive person present. All right, now let's go to Target and there's 100 people there. Now the chances jump. Doing the same calculation, there's a 63% chance that someone there is COVID positive. That means that more likely than not, someone there has COVID. At a concert of 500 people, there's a 99% chance that someone there is COVID positive. Here's the formula so you can try it out for yourself for different values of P and N. Remember that P is the likelihood that a randomly selected person in your community has coronavirus and N is the number of people at the gathering. So what does this tell us? First of all, you can reduce your risk of exposing yourself to COVID-19 by avoiding large gatherings and following the recommendations on gathering size put forward by public health experts. And of course, just because you go someplace where someone present has COVID doesn't mean that you will contract coronavirus. We know from scientific studies that you can reduce your risk of getting coronavirus by wearing a mask and keeping your distance from other people. So it's very important to follow the recommendations of public health experts in order to stop the spread of the virus. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And thanks to Maddie Weinstein for the idea for this video.